So I'm joined by singer, songwriter, musician, Tim Stop right now. Tim, how you doing? Good, Dave. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so I know that you uh, released an album in April and, you know, you've been touring around uh, since then. So tell me about your next stop that our viewers can go along to. Uh, so we have a few stops, but I think the one that you're going to be most interested in is uh, August 11th at August 11th at the Acorn Theatre. It's our uh, first time playing at the Acorn. We've been up in the area a bunch. We've played the, the livery in Benton Harbor a number of times. We've played the uh, the Journeyman, which is right next door. Yep. We've been at the Four Winds. But this is our first shot at the uh, the Acorn. And we've been in the room. It sounds amazing. Uh, can't wait to get the the band in there to put the, the new songs on that stage. Yeah, Three Oaks is a beautiful little town. And the Acorn Theater, I know, as you mentioned, Journeyman Distillery is there as well, just behind it. But um it's it's a really beautiful theater and actually the area has a lot of really nice like smaller theaters like that as well so it's a totally different vibe i think when you're playing in there because everybody is there just to look at you <laughs> and <laughs> yeah. just listen to you you know so it's a it, i think the experience can be a lot more intimate yeah it's uh the pressure is definitely on there i think it's it's nice when to foster that kind of that kind of environment, especially in uh, you know a community like that, because they can go there, they can expect good music, and they can expect a real concert, as opposed to you know just getting a, a band in the corner and people maybe getting a drink, talking and stuff. This is a, a real show atmosphere, and it's, I think it's better for both the the artist and the the audience. It just heightens the experience, so we're really excited about it. I agree. So um, for people watching, I know you've been around the area. I know you played in Plymouth recently as well, which some of our viewers may have been at. Um, but what kind of music is it and uh, what can they experience? Because, you know, some people may know of you and some people may not. So to anyone who may not, like, what's the what's the kind of experience like? Sure. Um, so it's it's a full band. What We got a uh, drums, bass, guitar and and piano and guitar. But Beyond that, my I think my, my principle that I've been shooting for my whole career is to make pop music that is accessible, but also takes an interesting turn at least like once a song. So whether it's a chord that's uh, slightly modulated with a key change or a, a, a complex rhythm, something that just makes it slightly sophisticated sounds uh, sound arrogant. That's not what I mean. I just mean that it's a little maybe um, different from pop music in that sense. It's certainly not esoteric by any means. But we try to keep things musically interesting and we have some just incredible musicians on stage. I, I, I'm blessed to play with some really great guys. So at the very least, I promise you'll be blown away by the musicians that I get to share the stage with. And, you know, um, there may be some bands that you've opened up for and that you, you know, got the chance to work with that a lot of our view viewers would know as well. Yeah, we've uh, been fortunate enough to tour, uh, gosh, extensively for years with Chicago, which is a pretty, they were pretty popular. Um, they <laughs> yeah. still, still are. Uh, Ario Speedwagon, we, we played with them. In fact, we played the Four Winds with, with Jay Leno a few years ago, which is, he's not a musician, obviously, but it, it was, uh, that was a really cool experience. So that's a little tied to the area. Um, and, you know, our music isn't necessarily right along lines of Ario or Chicago, but we learned a lot seeing, you know, pro bands like that on the road and how they handle themselves on stage and what it takes to uh, to get to that level musically. We've been, you know, keeping an eye on that and trying to study it and, and infuse it into our music. So being a singer songwriter and a musician and being out on the road, it's, it's, um, it's not an easy journey for anybody. You know, sometimes you see just the result of success, but you don't see the hard work that goes into it. What's your motivation to actually keep on doing it every week? Yeah, I mean, sometimes you see neither of those things. I, the motivation, I think, is is always it's always the music and, and the, the the pursuit of musical perfection, which of course doesn't exist. But the uh, the one thing you're guaranteed when you get into music is that you're gonna you're gonna work hard and you're gonna struggle. If you didn't struggle, you didn't become a musician. That's that's <laughs> the way I look at it. So we look at the all you know every single night's a different challenge, and every night you're. You're striving to do something, like I said, create this musical profession that doesn't exist. So it never gets boring in that sense. And you're always just trying to get a little better than you were the night before or the day before or the, the month before. And that I think that keeps us uh, engaged as a band, that keeps us interested as artists. And I don't know how that could ever get boring. So even when it gets, I mean, certainly there are times on the, the road when you, you get a little burnout, that, that pursuit, I think, will always keep you going. So I noticed on uh, your social media 
um, you you have a young lady singing with you in a couple of songs. <laughs> um, is that your daughter, or I, I, I wasn't sure, but uh, yes, I I did not steal somebody off the street. That that is my daughter. Uh, that's Kate. <laughs> She's she just turned five and doesn't really know how to sing. But I think that's the charm of it. Uh, I I try not to put my kids on my social media too often, but that one I felt like was was uh, special enough to to put out there. Well, yeah, I mean, she was uh, dressed and performing as Princess Jasmine, right? So <laughs> this is a daily occurrence. That is not unusual at all. I, I could <laughs> probably post something once a day with uh, something like that, but that one in particular, yeah, we, we wanted to get that out there. So, with kids and your wife, is that part of your motivation too? Just to just to want to, you know, provide this kind of future, or I mean, that that is certainly the priority of my life is, you know, thinking of my family first, and that's why I don't actually, I don't travel quite as much as I used to because I want to be back with my kids and and with my wife but they are certainly an inspiration I think if you can't be inspired by your family and and the idea of your kids and where they're gonna what they're gonna think of you and where they're gonna end up uh, you're probably not <laughs> doing your job as a father so they they constantly inspire me and uh, hopefully they can be proud of the, the music I'm making as well absolutely so acorn theater August 11th that is the that's the date. That's the that's the place. I hope you all can join me. I think it's gonna be a really fun night. All right. So if you want to get tickets, the Acorn Theater uh, website is on our screen right now. So you can go there and you can get tickets to this on August 11th and, and go along, you know, support Tim. And, and maybe, you know, in, in advance, if you just search for Tim Stop on Facebook or Instagram, you know, you can find all uh, your pages there and listen to some of your music. Maybe in advance, people people can kind of get into it. I know your new al album, Silver Lining. Um, seems like you're getting a lot of good feedback about that. Well, we're, we're certainly excited about how it came out. It was a two year process. We, uh, we really let this one breathe. I feel like the, the norm these days with music is you get in the studio, you have a limited time, you kind of rush it through just to have a product. We, for the first time really in our career, we got to sit and let these songs live and breathe before we put a stamp on them. And, and they're never really done, but they got to a place where I feel like we can be proud of every last one of them. So if people have a second, yeah, go check out the new album silver lining it takes about a half an hour to listen to it i i do think you're going to find something you'd like and that's what we're going to be playing um in large part on august 11th so it'd be awesome if you could give it a, a quick listen hey you mentioned the word perfect a lot i gotta say don't let perfection get in the way of progress okay that's so true <laughs> it's, it's, it is the enemy of enemy of good isn't it <laughs> It's the enemy of the creative mind. It's so hard. But all right. So thank you so much for joining us here on Experience Michiana. I hope the theater is packed on August 11th. It's a great town, great drinks, great places to visit. And the Acorn Theater is right up there. So I hope you have a great night. 100%. Thank you so much, Dave. Uh, we'll talk soon.